Hi there, Aries. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Miri on Buddy Advice on Facebook. And this is your reading for August. Um, I would suggest have a look at the Dutch one as well when I've done the Dutch one and use the subtitles um, just in case I miss something or leave something out. Every reading is different. And if you're new, welcome to uh, the channel. I do go live every single day, uh, sometimes twice, as I also give a card every day um, for every star sign. And uh, in the evening, I go live and give out free cards as well. When I do streaming, I do uh, give free cards out if there's anybody in the room. Um, at the end of the stream okay and if you don't see me live in the morning then it's there is a video for the day's card okay let's begin um i'm going to do this video completely in english and you can find the dutch equivalent um after this as well okay please share the channel with family friends and acquaintances and colleagues and if you're a new visitor to this channel thank you very much and welcome please click the button just there um, as you have the membership button there subscribe please and click on the bell then you'll be notified when i go live or when new videos are uploaded if you don't want to be notified then you won't get notified when i go live or anything else of that matter but don't click the button just subscribe and it will be saved in your library okay let's begin the reading uh, rather explaining the layout this is one week one two three and four and this is the overall energy over the month and this is the clarification card for each week for the card that's lying above it and the all over energy as well the energy overall seems pretty heavy i'm sorry to say um, as you've got the nine of uh, sky and uh, the mountain well let's see I'm not going to be pessimistic because usually it, it, it will it's go with the flow it flows into each other and uh, i see other positive things that are happening then i've got the uh, answer of the angels the romance card the queen of the um, the queen of the moon oracle deck and i've got the a card of the wisdom of the hidden realm okay okay i hope you can see this and i have to move it up a bit i think can you see it like that i hope you can see it so all the cards are visible now and that's the way i like it okay in week one you uh, aries you have the six of earth this is the six of pentacles this means that if you are this is my give and take card share and share alike um in this card you see usually a man that's wealthy um he's giving um money to um the poor people or the people that are not as rich as him perhaps you might be the rich person that is sharing something or giving something to the less fortunate or you might be the less fortunate and receiving a, a loan or a gift and but the dogs here are like sharing and that's why um, I'm quite pleased with this because uh, I before I got the dog tarot I was calling it giving and sharing and they're sharing each other's toys here give and take share and share alike so I'm glad somebody else thinks the same way as me okay then the second week we have the nine of fire that's the nine of staves and the nine of staves means that you've been through a heavy heavy period you've had you've come you're like a warrior you've come through the wars right usually this is depicted with a man that is um, standing on his stave um, and here he's just He's got the ghost, ghost dogs behind him, like I said, through the wars. Um, there's some people that you've had to leave behind. 
um, or dogs leave, uh, leave the dogs behind and they've gone up to the other side but um, it's the nine of staves are standing behind him and he it's depicted with uh, nine flames and he's got one two three four five six seven there must be a ninth dog let's have a look One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I can't see nine dogs. So it's the nine nine flames that is shown as this nine of staves. You've come through the war, so you've come to an end of a period. There's a new period breaking through for you, and you're just there. Just hold on, don't give up. It is around the corner. And in the third week, most probably in the third week, it, the energy will uh, change because everything you touch will turn to gold. As you've got the alpha male, the earth alpha male, that's the king of pentacles, and he has the Midas touch. Everything he touches will turn to gold. If you've invested, you will can see rediment now. You can see the results you are going to harvest. This king of pentacle, pentacles knows how to invest, knows how to work and find work and has work for that is durable and for long term. So an awesome change from the drastic. Like I said, there's a new beginning. The third week, the your new beginning is there. Then you have the alpha male from the sea and that is the king of cups. Okay, Aries. So um, you might be meeting an earth sign. This could be a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus, or you could be meeting even uh, uh, a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. And this, this man is for long term. And this man is also more or less for long term because he's loving, passionate, nurturing and caring. He's a gorgeous man. He does care for the people. He's a brilliant father. And this man, he is a good provider. Okay. Be this man has his emotions under control. Uh, because love, it can be laughter of tears or laughter of sorrow. And this man is steady but slow and for always. But I think that's also with the, with the water signs. So you might be meeting a man that's a water sign and knows how to um, care at the end of the month. It might be you that is more caring and nurturing at the, at, at the end of the month. Okay, if you are a man, you might meet a, uh, a lady that is a water sign and the same goes uh, in the third week. If you are a gentleman, you might meet a lady that can uh, be a good investor that everything she touches will turn to gold she's a hard worker she works uh, she wants a job that's durable and works and is for long term so you can be uh, meeting a career wo career woman in uh, investments like bookkeeper uh, advocate um, banker uh, somebody that works with money or books and here you can uh, meet a man that's caring, could be working in the healthcare, like a doctor, a nurse, you name it, a social worker. The overall energy is the seven of sky, that's the seven of swords. Somebody might leave or has left you and has taken something uh, from, uh, has taken something that does not belong to him and left in a haste. So somebody might have left in a haste, if it isn't you, and taken something from you with them um, and left something behind. It could be that they've left you um, with a broken heart. This could be an air sign, but it could also be a water sign or an earth sign. But that's what the seven of swords means, the seven of sky, um, somebody leaving in haste and leave, taking five of the swords with them and leaving two behind. That's usually how it is depicted. Here it's more or less a, ga a gambling thing. 
Uh, I can go into that, but I won't go into that now because this reading is extensive and um, it's long and that's the way I like it. So you can get more information on what's happening in August. Now you've got the ring clarifying the six of earth. So you might be forming partnerships. You might be, like I said, one of, somebody might be earning more in this partnership and giving to the partner something, a loan or a gift. Okay, this could be you or you might be receiving from your your partner a gift or a loan. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyway, the the second week we've got the fox. So the fox means be careful of sly, conniving, mean people. Um, you've already been through the wars. Perhaps this person um, has been around you uh, in the past up till now up to the second week and you finished with them it's an end because you've got a nine there's an end on this friendship okay you don't trust this person you can't build on this person or perhaps this could be in work with regard to work because it's a fire sign fire is action and that means work and creativity means hobby perhaps work or a hobby has come to an end because there was somebody that was making life sour or perhaps you, it is a warning that um, because you're getting a new beginning, you might be getting a promotion and somebody's keeping an eye on you, whether you are watching out for the details, crossing your T's and dotting your I's. So that might be your new beginning at work. Okay. So somebody's watching out for you. So be careful. Forewarned is forearmed. Okay. In the third week, we have the anchor. If you have a question, can I trust this person? Yes. The answer to your question is a yes. You're coming into a safe haven. You're coming home to a safe haven. Okay, this person is solid and it's steadfast. Like I said, the coins go for long term and duration. Then you have the sun and the sun is shining on this cancer person. Okay, You're, you might be a little bit more emotional and nurturing. Perhaps the sun is on you, you're in the spotlight and this cancer person has an eye on you and is offering you love or passion. The sunshine also means holidays, moving home, new beginnings, new jobs, promotions. Like I said, Somebody's got your eye on you and you're at an end of a face, so a new beginning. And that is what the sun also means, a new beginning. You might be hearing of a pregnancy or a birth or finding out you're pregnant, okay? So, awesome, positive, positive, positive. That's a positive card and that, and that, and these two, definitely. And this one, because it's a new beginning. So don't see everything as a uh, as a problem okay if somebody's no good for you because they are the fox the sly and the mean then it's better for them to go and leave your life and to leave you start a new beginning and making new beautiful friends and don't worry you can you're making mountains out of molehills being on your own Aries isn't a problem because you're a fire person you come into action you know what you want you are creative. So remember, you don't have to climb the mountain. You can take your time to get to know people. Okay? Let it be fire, earth or water or air. All the elements are here. So there's a lot of people that you could meet. But I think it's more water and earth. Okay? So don't make mountains out of molehills. Just reconsider every step of the way okay don't climb the mountain take it step by step follow the path just reconsider your friendships that you are making this month in August engagement your love life is um, ascending to a higher level of communication or commitment sorry 
so your friendships could become relationships for durability and long-term and caring love and passion. Release the old. Like I said, there is a person that is gone or is suddenly gone and you can see the line. You're at the end of the walls and that nasty piece of work is gone. Okay? Okay, release, release. And we also, release means you can cry. So don't keep hold of your emotions because better times are coming along. Just look at the beautiful line. Okay? Now I'm going to give you a mantra on that one. That's the queen of the moon oracle card and it means the thunder moon. Oh no, it's not the thunder moon. It's number 27. Again, uh, an end to a face. Okay? It's the crescent moon. And it is also with little butterflies. Also, again, transformational, a transformational time. You're leaving the old behind and going into the new. Let the light shine through you. That's what this is a song. And I just come it just comes up into me. Okay, release. Let it go. It is time to release anything that does not serve you. Old negative habits do not engage you uh, anymore as the payoff is not enough. You are ready to make room for bigger brighter more aligned things like new friends new jobs new partnerships taking your friendships up to the next level okay and the affirmation that you can say is i freely freely release that i no longer need i freely release what i no longer need then you've got the hungry ghosts Woo! And that is uh, number number nine was this new beginning and ending and a new beginning. Number 14 is five. You have to try to find um, your balance. Now the hungry uh, ghosts, they can be voices. I think it can be voices in your head. OK, let's have a look. Obsessions, scarcity consciousness. So you're not all there, you're not focused properly. Okay, you're not conscious. Attachment. When the hungry ghosts appear on your path, they may not at first seem like allies because they represent your constant focus on the past. And then you've got the other card, release. Wow. And the cons uh, cons consent consuming desire to know the future which rob you of your true present but in fact they are here in the service of alerting you to obsess thinking and addictions they mas they are masters at man magnifying re uh, repetitive behavior the message is for you to examine whether you're doing the same thing over and over while expecting a different result. This time will be different and I have control over this. Are false statements and a sign of deep denial of the truth. So you must get clarity. And the swords are here, you know, open yourself up, up um, release that hurt. I know they've left two swords behind and that's your broken heart. Okay, that could be your war. Okay. Now it is time to let go of that thinking. Surrender yourself. Release. Surrender your will, your life, your heart's desires and all that pains you up to the divine. Order will be restored in your life. The hungry ghosts also bring understanding about the distractions of life that seduces you into forgetting what you really desire. There are, they are asking you to become aware, what, aware that what others want 
and what the culture dictates will make you happy may not be what what's best for you so do what you need to do okay reconsider reconsider what you want don't get caught up into outside appearances beauty look at what is on the inside all that glitters may not be gold at least not for you look beyond the veneer and you will find the true substance in your life you deserve nothing less so look for love look for the next level leave the people that you that are not true and honest to you behind you don't want these poisonous argutive depressing people around you okay have faith in yourself and then when i see the anchor i always have to think of that charm hope faith and love that was the that's the anchor that's hope then you've got the cross faith and then you've got the heart and that's love and when i see this card i always have to think of that okay let the past go it's easier said than done okay my beautiful aries i hope this resonates with you take care and have a wonderful month and if you're new welcome and i hope to see you in the tea room in the chat room that's the tea room our cyber family that's what the viewers and the followers have adopted it as okay take care and god bless and be blessed